Uh, for hundreds of years, uh, church bells have rung out to proclaim special events as well as to call people to worship. New recruits to bell ringing are in decline, but with just over 10 weeks to go until the coronation of King Charles, a campaign is underway to fill vacancies. Uh, let's join our correspondent, Joe Black, who's at uh, St Paul's Church in Birmingham. And it is Joe, and she is in Birmingham. It's all yours. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, 30 to 40,000 uh, bell ringers short across the UK. It's an ongoing problem, but of course, as you were just pointing out there, the coronation is in about 10 weeks' time. So it's sort of highlighting the shortage, if you like. And I've got some bell ringers here uh, to talk about this issue. And um, let's talk to Richard. Now, you're the ringing master here That's at St Paul's. Um, we're talk talking about this shortage. It's pockets of shortages around the country. Some places are doing really well, including here in St Paul's, because you're oversubscribed, aren't you? That's right, Joe. We have a very active community here. The bells are probably uh, the most rung bells in the country, and there's ringing more days than there, than there are not. And we have a group of about uh, 25 or 30 uh, ringers in age range from 11 up to 80 who uh, meet regularly and ring together and socialise together. Lovely. Thank you, Richard. Uh, we've got Simon with us as well. He's from the Council of Church Bell Ringers. Um, Simon, we've been talking about uh, this shortage. Some people have said that they would turn up on the day at their chosen church, but uh, that's not really going to work, is it? They need to sort of do a bit of practice, don't they? Not really. As you'll have seen from the bits of film, ringing is a, is a really highly skilled activity, and to become as good as the bell ringers here at St Paul's Birmingham, you're going to be uh, learning to ring for years. But, but actually learning, you, you can get to ring a bell in about sort of 10 to 12 hours of, of solid tuition, and, and that sets you on your journey of ringing for life. Yeah, and we were talking about what you need to be a bell ringer. So you don't have to be good at maths. You don't have to be musical. I mean, I know I think they're helpful, but you don't even have to be religious either, do you? That's, that's right. You don't. It's a popular misconception that you do. In fact, of course, we're, we're ringing bells in a church today, but bells are a community thing and, and bells are rung at times of national celebration, such as the uh, ringing for the king. And, and of course, lots of bell ringers just ring because we enjoy doing it and we don't really need an excuse. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, we've got your daughter, Charlie, here. She's 50. Now, you've been bell ringing for six years, following in your father's footsteps, but there might be people at home watching this who might be sort of thinking about it, might be in two minds. What would you say they should do? I'd say go for it because it's, it's brilliant. You make so many friends, you've got something to say to do, and it's just really fun. Yeah, and um, do you, is it very physical as well? I think some people think they have to be quite fit to do it, don't they? I don't, I don't think that you necessarily need to be fit. I'm not the strongest person in the world, but I'm just as good as someone who can do lots of weights in the gym. Lovely. Thank you so much. So there you go. The shortage is 30 to 40,000, but that could be shrinking after this appeal for ring for the king. So if you are thinking about doing it, now could be the time. It takes about 10 hours to learn the basics and you can go from there. Yeah, no time like the present. Let's get on with it. Joe Black in Birmingham. Thank you very much.